What we have here are two almost identical pendulums. Now you can see that the motions of them are independent. You can see that the motion of one has no effect on the other. It doesn't matter what I do with the other, they're just swinging as though they're completely separate. Uh, the word that scientists use is uncoupled pendulums. Now what I've done is I've added a spring joining the two pendulums. Physicists call this a system of two coupled pendulums. Now let's see what happens to the motion now that there's something joining the two. I'm going to try to move just one of the pendulums and see what happens. You'll notice now that the motions of the pendulums are no longer independent. What one pendulum does affects the other. In fact, if you look really closely, you should notice that from time to time, one of the pendulums will stop moving while the other one is moving, and then they'll swap over, the other one stopping while the other one is moving. The reason for this is the conservation of energy principle. The total energy of this system should stay the same, but what happens is that the energy is passing from one pendulum to the other through the spring. So from time to time you'll have one that's not moving, so it has its energy is zero, while the other one moves, but then it transfers its energy to the other, reversing the situation. Now, because there are two pendulums, it turns out that all those complicated motions you saw before can be broken down into a mixture of two motions that we call modes. The first one is this one here where the two are swinging exactly the same time in the same way. And you'll see that they always stay in sync. No, neither of them ever stops. And the other motion sometimes called a breathing mode, is when they're moving in opposite directions, like this. They're still in sync, but moving in, always moving in opposite directions. All of the other complicated motions that you saw is just a mixture of these two modes.